Remember that the order of operations is quite important in mathematics. And that's why today I want us to take some time looking at how the order of operations is performed in mathematics. Good day, everybody. Once again, your favorite uncle is with you. Well, if you're new to this channel, please just hit that subscribe button. And I promise that I'll keep on giving you that content that you need so that you do well in mathematics as well as in science. All right, now let's go right into it. Suppose you are given two things, right? Let's say we say four times three minus two, okay? Right, now there's two possible answers that you can get. The first one is if you said, well, four multiplied by three will give you 12. Subtract two from that, that will give you 10. Now, another way of performing exactly the same equation, or in this case, uh, the same expression, well, would be to say, well, four multiplied by three minus two. So we can start with three minus two. So we can say this is four times three minus two gives us one. And so four multiplied by one gives us four. Now the question is, which of the two is actually the correct answer? And that's why today we need to look at the board mass rule. And that's why we say that the manner in which you actually perform, um, you know, these operations is actually quite important. Now, what does board mass actually stand for? Well, the B stands for brackets, and I'll explain as I go on. O stands for order or off. And the D stands for division. The M stands for multiplication. And in this case, the A for addition as well as S for subtraction. So this is addition. And finally, we've got subtraction. Right, now, that means this is the order that we're going to follow every time that we uh, perform a mathematical operation. So that means that brackets will always start first, right? And then we look at orders, which means these are powers, okay? Uh, uh, usually also called exponents. And we are going to look at division next, multiplication will follow and only thereafter we can look at addition and subtraction later on we are going to be telling you about inverse operations but for now let's talk about this board mass how do we apply this right now if we go back to our exercise that we started with we had four multiplied by three minus two so according to the board mass rule we need to check now which one would be able or will we be able to actually or which answer would be correct so firstly we've got multiplication and then subtraction so according to this multiplication would go first before subtraction so we would actually say well the answer to this would be 4 multiplied by 3 which gives us 12 and in this case we've got a subtraction sign so minus 2, and so that will give us 10, okay? So that is the order in which we are going to do this. Now, what if they gave us something to this effect, right? So if they said 4 multiplied by 3 minus 2, okay? So now this is something completely different, right? Because remember, in as much as it almost looks the same, by adding a bracket, it means that we are now going to look at something and we're going to look at it differently. So we say to ourselves, all right, what is 3 minus 2? Remember, we start with the bracket, right? So 3 minus 2 would give us 1. So that means we are, we are now going to say 4 multiplied by 3 minus 2, which is 1. And so 4 times this 1 would actually give us 4. 
as our final answer. All right, I hope that is clear, ladies and gents. So what I want us to do is just look at um, just a number of exercises or some examples that we can follow and we can then uh, try to answer those quite well. Right, now let's take our exercise. And I want you to actually try out the exercises first before you look at my solution. So if we are going to take 15 plus 10, and we divide that by five. What would our answer be? Please try to work it out. And thereafter, you can pause this video and look at my solution. Right. Now, let's look at the solution. So this is 15 plus 10. This is inside our bracket, right? So that means I am going to start with the bracket and only thereafter start looking at the division sign. So inside our bracket, we've got 15 plus 10. That would give us 25. So that means we've got 25 divided by 5. And in this case, if we take 25 divided by 5, that will definitely give us 5 as our final answer. Right, now let's take another one. Okay, so if we say to multiply it by 12, divide by 3 plus 1. Okay, please pause the video, right? Try to work it out and then tell us what your answer is. Right, now, for our answer, where do we start? Remember, brackets, order, division, multiplication, and only thereafter, uh, addition and subtraction, right? So now here it is, I've got division and I can follow with multiplication thereafter. So I'm going to leave the two. If I divide, 12 divided by three gives us four plus one. So which one comes next? So now I'm going to say two multiplied by four. Remember, it's multiplication before addition. So two multiplied by four would give me 8, and 8 plus 1 gives me 9. All right, I hope that you are able to follow, right? Please, if you got this correct, uh, just shout even on the comment section. Right, so what if we've got something to the effect of 2 multiplied by 12 divided by 3, plus one. Now it almost looks like the same exercise, isn't it? Right? So we've got the same numbers, but in this case, remember, by virtue of having brackets, it means that the order will be different this time around. Now we start with the brackets. So three plus one gives us four, right? So we've got two multiplied by 12 divided by four. Okay? So now remember, we are multiplying, right? We are dividing rather, it's board mass. So in this case, we are dividing before we multiply. So 12 divided by four gives us three, right? So we've got two multiplied by three, right? 12 divided by four gives us three. And so two times three gives us six. So that's our final answer. All right, now let's continue very quickly. Um, so I'm just going to do two more and obviously I'm going to leave out some just for you to try and work them out on your own. Right. So if we have, uh, let's say five minus three plus two times three divide by three. Right, so what would be our final answer there? All right, so we start with the brackets. Okay, so inside our brackets, we've got four minus three, I mean, uh, five minus three, which gives us two, plus uh, two times three gives us six, six divided by three. So now 
we've sorted out our brackets and in this case we can now uh, follow with division right so this will be 6 divided by 3 gives us 2 and in this case we've got 2 plus 6 divided by 3 gives us 2 and so this will equal to 4 all right and finally we're taking just one last one and in this case let's take the very same example but in this case just written differently right so 5 minus 3 plus 2 times 3 divided by 3 right so according to the podmas rule that's brackets of division so we are going to start with division so firstly we've got 3 divided by 3 and so that's 5 minus 3 plus 2 times 3 divided by 3 gives us 1 okay and so then multiplication follows 2 times 1 gives us 2 and finally in this case so we know that now we've got uh, just uh, uh, addition and subtraction so remember we say brackets of division multiplication addition and subtraction so in this case we can add those two together so that gives us um that's three uh, three plus two gives us five so this is five minus five and so that gives us zero okay right please note ladies and gents that is how we go about you know answering those questions of course i'd love for you to try out these examples for yourself and please let me know on the comment section what did you get for your final answer all right now in this case please let me know what you get on the comment section uh, what would be your final answer for this exercise Ladies and gents, I want to keep it here. Remember that Bodmas rule is one of those things that you just need to make sure that you master, especially when we now introduce variables. We are going to apply it quite a lot. For now, I'm going to see you guys next time. Shop, shop.